What's going on, dudes and dudettes? So, yes, the Dodgers, since the last time I talked to you, did win the World Series, which is great. And I did see a cool stat as well, saying that it's the first time that the late, both the Lakers and the Dodgers have won in the same year the championship, which is really cool. Of course, the last time was 1988 when my sister was born. So, of course, that's the only thing I'm jealous of her. Other than that, I admire everything she's ever done. So, yes, that's the one thing. And, yeah, it's just awesome, especially for everything happening in, in L.A. with all those wildfires and COVID and Kobe. It's just a bunch of crazy stuff. But, yes, luckily, the teams were able to get the victory for us. And hopefully they can continue to keep it going the next couple years at least. Then also the Chargers sadly were, like I said, dealing with wildfires. A couple of them popped up in like the Irvine and Yorba Linda area. And of course the Chargers kind of like work out over there. So a lot of their players and like staff were had to be evacuated to hotels. So hopefully it doesn't affect the game this, this Sunday, but just never know sleeping in a different house but yeah it's just a little hurdle they have to get through this week hopefully i believe they're more contained the fire so at least they're going in the right direction as of right now then usc the program has teamed up with this company called j1s or js1 productions to create this boulevard program or something like that boulevard studios and it's kind of to help guys in the in a couple years once they're able to make money on their name likeness and other stuff outside of doing it for the college so on their social media or anything like that to get a boost up this company really helps do that for them so maybe this is a, also a recruiting tool to be able to say to other guys who may not have something like that and have big stuff outside of football be able to make money like that then to come to USC because it is right smack dab in the middle of the LA market as well so a lot of opportunities to make some cash here and there legally this time <laughs> but yeah should be cool hopefully it does give a bump in recruiting because USC definitely needs it in my opinion then Justin Herbert of the Chargers the quarterback was named the AFC Offensive Rookie of the Month pretty obvious because of what he's been averaging numbers wise especially compared to Joe Burrow or any of those other top guys I mean Tua the other quarterback hasn't even started yet for Miami so it's pretty obvious that he could get this award so I'm glad he did shows that the Chargers have somewhat made the right choice but even though he had good numbers they still only have two wins on the season so I prefer wins over numbers but uh, that's just what we got to deal with right now and then a little bit some more unfortunate news for the Chargers. The tight end Virgil Green I mentioned last time had gotten hurt, but now he's officially going on IR, so he won't return for at least 21 days. But they also found their first positive COVID test after the season started, and it's with backup offensive lineman Ryan Groy. So it's a good thing that it's not the one of the starters, but it does suck if he was around any of the other guys at the time. But they said they they have contained it and they don't think it's it spread anymore. But as of right now, the NFL does have the game going on this Sunday against Denver. We'll just have to wait and see if any more tests come out positive. And hopefully the, the Chargers can get some positive, I mean, good news. And then won't have to cancel the game or get anyone else with COVID, which sucks. But yeah, good luck to those guys getting healthier. And then Duke finally got their matchup in the ACC Big Ten Challenge where the two conferences, conferences play each other in basketball just to see who has a better record at the end overall. So usually Duke wins this game even though they've been playing like people from Michigan State and Indiana who are always like top 10 teams at the time early in the season. But luckily they get a cupcake in my opinion in Illinois. So hopefully they do get that victory. It is 2020, so you just never know. But yes, hopefully this will be a cupcake for them. So ex-USC great defensive end Everson Griffin. He did sadly sign with the Cowboys earlier this year, but luckily he has been traded to the Detroit Lions. So he's still in the same uh, uh, division as he used to be 
with the Minnesota Vikings, but now he's going to be playing against them, which is pretty cool. And with actually a good defensive coach, in my opinion. So hopefully he does strive better the rest of the season. Then it looks like the Clippers are eyeing Rajon Rondo as one of their top free agent guys. I guess they're going to be offering him as much money as they can when obviously he probably wouldn't get that anywhere else or especially with the Lakers because they're trying to build towards the future. But if he does go there, man. It's back to disliking Rondo because obviously he was with the Celtics for so long, but uh, that rivalry will be even better once that happens. So <clears throat> definitely looking forward to that. And speaking of the Cincinnati Bengals, they mentioned that the Chargers should actually try to trade for their offensive lineman, Billy Price. I believe when he came out, I think it was a couple years ago, I kind of thought he could be drafted by the Chargers later. In the draft, just because he went to a school like Ohio State, which at the time did produce some pretty good offensive linemen, but for some reason he just wasn't looked at to be selected high. But I saw something there as long as depth. I didn't think he could be a great guy. I don't even know if he is a great guy right now, but it's probably just to have some guy there just in case of injury if they want to make the trade, or maybe he, he's better than some of the guys they even have now. So don't really know, but. Could be interesting. Hopefully they do make, I think the trade deadline is this Tuesday coming up. So hopefully there are some more monumental trades going on. I doubt the Chargers will make any of them, of course, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see how that goes, but it should be very interesting. And hopefully I'll make a video after that to be able to talk about it, but we'll see what they do. And then Rich Paul, famous friend and agent with LeBron James, he did have uh, like a little pro day for his top guys, Anthony Edwards and Tyrese, or Ty no, it's Tyrell Maxey. And I guess he's their new new clients. He's trying to get them drafted. Obviously, Edwards is projected to be number one overall anyways, but I guess it was also a little bit of a thing to try to get Maxey some views and looks at. But I just, the only problem I see of it is that it always seems like they try to get a guy who's a client of Rich Paul, LeBron's friend, onto the team of the Lakers. And of course, if this guy's a rookie and if he's selected in the second round, it's a lot easier to buy a second round draft pick than it is a first round, which I've seen from a lot of teams. So if he does end up getting selected there, I think he's definitely going to be bought out by the Lakers. And from what I saw, he's looked okay. He's just all right, he just still needs time. He's still very young, but uh, he has some talent. But I just think you need guys who've been there in college a little bit longer to help you out right away that you get on rookie deals, in my opinion, in the second round. And then they mentioned that Justin Herbert, is he the future of the Chargers? So if they found their franchise quarterback. Obviously, I always mention that I have to wait and see just because... I need to see more, especially if it's someone that I didn't have high hopes for or didn't really like going into the draft process or anything. At times, he's still very inconsistent and very inaccurate, like how a lot of his faults were coming out of college, which is, it sucks that it's still in the NFL, but you never know. He could get better. Um, hopefully, he does get better. He just needs better weapons around him, which is why I think the, tra the Chargers should try to trade for another good wide receiver just gave up a later draft pick take him off someone else's hands but of course they never listen to me but like I said we'll wait and see thanks for watching people like and subscribe comment down below let me know what y'all think have a great rest of your day bye dog